across Rhode Island or interior southeastern Massachusetts. It's more than likely across the lower Cape and Islands. And you can see, even though the storm is weakened, no doubt there is a very large circulation. You can see it on the satellite photo. And what can happen sometimes is even though the wind speeds come down, the aerial coverage of the wind starts to spread out. And that's why we'll probably get grazed with uh, some tropical storm force winds. Here's the latest. Wind of 81, gusts to 98, moving northeast at 19. This orange area represents wind speeds of 40 miles per hour or greater. Uh, this darker area of red winds of 57 miles per hour or greater, and this purple area of hurricane force winds. So this is the leading edge of tropical storm force winds. So just offshore. What will happen is overnight tonight, as the system passes north and east, we get clipped by this orange area with some gusty winds. And it's primarily along the uh, south shore that that will happen. It's one of those deals where the further north you go, you may be saying, what wind? And then the further south you go, the wind will be a lot stronger. So everybody getting in on some rain. You've got some bands of rain working in throughout the afternoon, but I want to draw your attention just offshore to this large area of orange and yellow right in here. This is some pretty heavy rain. And this is a classic setup. Anytime we get storms that pass off to our east, usually the heavy rain sets up off to the west. So it's this band right in here. More than likely it's going to do a beeline like this towards southeastern Mass. So that's where the heaviest rain will probably set up on the order of three to five inches. And again, that's later tonight. And here in Rhode Island, we'll still get clipped with some of this. We're thinking perhaps one to three Rhode Island and three to five in southeastern Mass. The waves continue to be uh, large along the south shore. These are live pictures uh, from the Coast Guard House looking out at Narragansett Town Beach. And you can see how these rollers have been coming in all day long. The closest approach to uh, Nantucket is very late tonight. The heavy storm through Saturday. Now, even though the storm is gone on Saturday, the waves remain agitated. The highest lift as far as damage and wind is confined to the outer Cape and Islands only. And most of the rain and wind will be later on this evening and during the overnight with the strongest wind being found at the south shore. Three to five inches of rain, southeastern mass. Uh, the brunt of, well, the... The bulk of the rain and the wind would be from about 8 o'clock this evening until 3 o'clock Saturday morning. And then the winds diminish uh, on, or the waves actually diminish on Sunday. Tropical storm warning for the area in yellow. Hurricane warning for the Cape and the islands. Uh, tropical storm force winds of, say, 30, 50 miles per hour are possible along the south shore. Flash flood watch for the areas in green in anticipation of heavy rain. So the possibility of some urban flooding and street flooding. Very humid downtown Providence. Temps are in the upper 70s. The rain will pick up later on this evening and especially during the overnight and the wind picking up along the south shore. Goodbye Earl by Saturday morning. Increasing amounts of sunshine and then during the afternoon a very windy day but dry wind and certainly not damaging wind. Temperature topping out at around 80. Here's the track of Earl as it uh, moves off to the north and east and that envelope of tropical storm force winds. This is around 2 o'clock in the morning. Racing up into the Canadian Maritimes uh, Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening we see increasing amounts of sunshine here and better weather. So the potential for a uh, very strong wind, the areas in red, uh, the strip of yellow, which is essentially south of, say, Warwick and along the south shore, 30 to 50. Now, these are not sustained winds. That would be dangerous. These are in gusts later tonight and during the overnight hours. And the holiday weekend is looking good. Uh, sunshine are becoming sunny on Saturday, 82, but windy. Sunshine on Sunday, 77. And Monday, the holiday looks good. Sunny skies and a high temp near 80. Uh, be cautious. While the sun will be out at the beaches, the water will be dangerous, and it may not subside until uh, Sunday afternoon. But the better weather ahead, and again, the bulk of the rain and wind for later tonight, especially the wind-wise along the south shore. Thanks, Tony. Coming up now at 530 on Eyewitness News, as we continue our coverage of Hurricane Earl at South County, where many thrill seekers are heading to the coast. And it was six Hurricane Earl causing some major problems for Labor Day travelers. Details on flights canceled at the airport.